It's difficult for a young person uh, when they don't believe their professor or they find out that uh, the, this uh, information they're being told is, is incorrect. Um, but a good teacher and a good professor will say, uh, thank you, I'm going to look that up. Yes, you're right, let's change direction a little bit because of that. Uh, somebody who is just resting on his laurels and is really not interested in uh, innovation uh, could possibly be offended. Uh, so I'm not like that. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of maturity and I think it comes with the Nobel Prize that uh, you just have to say, okay, I don't know anything, I don't know everything, uh, which means that at times I'll, I'll say to other scientists or patients, I'm not an expert in that area. I can't tell whether that's right or wrong. So it's best at that stage to say, to step back a bit and say, I don't have the information base or the knowledge to judge this new concept or this new theory. Uh, what I found in the past is quite often people who were supposed experts would immediately say, it's impossible, you couldn't possibly have helicobacter in the stomach, you couldn't possibly have bacteria causing ulcers. And they were speaking uh, from a position of ignorance because we, we knew that you could and we were the people who knew about the physiology and the bacteriology of the stomach. Nobody else did. Uh, so it wasn't appropriate for other so-called experts in gastroenterology to now say they were experts on the um, non-existence of bacteria in the stomach when they'd never ever examined it. Uh, so the good scientists, even if they don't know anything about it or they don't agree with it, they'll say, it seems pretty far-fetched, but it's not my field and I just want to see more information. I want to see the, to see the evidence base. That's the correct way to approach uh, criticism from your uh, junior partners or students. Um, to, to say, no, forget about it, it couldn't possibly happen, when you don't really know, uh, that would be incorrect and unwise.